Hey Virgo, it's your honest homegirl, Keisha Neek, and this is your homegirl horoscope for today. So let's see what you have going on, okay? You could be telling someone like you love them so much when they're at their best, but it's like you can't stand them when they're at their worst. And it's like, but you know that is something that comes with partnership and marriage and love and kids and longevity. It's like, relationships are constant work okay um many of you, you there's a partnership here that you may want to heal you may want to fix you may want to mend things with someone but it's like there's a need for things to be balanced things to be fair coming from a place of love and trust here okay or maybe they want to fix things with you they propose this to you to fix this relationship to come together and it's like you told them i'm gonna think about it let me think about it and you're thinking about how it when it's good it is so good but when it's bad it is so bad type of energy you could be dealing with a capricorn taurus or a virgo male here that you could have had a family with this person or family with this woman here you guys could have a teenage daughter together, or you could have a daughter that could be two, six, or four, 10, 12, okay? I feel like for some of you guys, you guys could have separated when your child was two years old, or your parents could have separated when you were two years old, and it's kind of like a repeated cycle here. For others of you, I really feel like somebody wants their family back. They really want to heal this situation. And it could be with an Aquarius or an, someone with earth sign placements or like the father of your children is heavily thinking about their family and wanting to mend things in a situation here. What else is going on? Yeah, there was some things from the past that have been illuminated to this person and they want to heal the past. This person can have Leo placements. You could also have a three-year-old son with this person, or you will eventually in three years have a son with this person. Um, I really feel, too, for you, Virgo, that many of you said some things to this person, and it has them heavily thinking, okay? I feel like they were wounded by their mom or a mother-like figure when they were two, they could have lost their parent at the age of two. For some of you, this could have been you too. But I feel like mommy issues stem from adolescent years for some of you. And for some of you at the age of two, or this is your person, vice versa. Like these things are being illuminated. And I feel like for many of you guys, um, they may have... Something happened with stability and security, finances, resources, and it's like they're trying to rectify that situation as well by being there. Yeah, see, there, there's a need for healing mentally and emotionally from the past. There is a female ancestor here that is guiding this because you guys are supposed to have get pregnant again by this person. And you guys are supposed to move forward and... You may feel like it may be unlucky, but it's going to be lucky. It's going to be fair. It's going to allow you to be in your divine div uh, divine feminine energy here. There was a lesson that you needed to learn. Because I feel like once you learned that lesson, there was a little boy is going to come. There's a little boy that's going to come. Your family's incomplete because it's supposed to be four of you. It's supposed to be you, your spouse, a little boy, and a little girl. And then you guys will be complete. I can't make this shit up. There was there's some huge, huge lessons of of learning and commitment and coming through thick and thin. Like some of you were being tested. You was thinking this was a negative situation. You was thinking, oh my God, we separated. I got to start over. I got to sit there and spend money by myself. I got to take care of everything by myself. This is changing me. It's changing the little girl that you guys had emotionally, physically, mentally. If you're thinking about just moving away type of energy, but it's like spirit for some of you guys, spirit is going to hit a pause button for you guys because there's something that happened in adolescent years that had you in this cycle, you and this person in the cycle when it comes to commitment, when it comes to change. 
Someone has to change, someone has to grow up, or the both of you do. Someone has to sit there and say, you know what, I'm going to end these generational curses right along with you type of energy. But it's like someone was scared, someone was stagnant. And it's like everything that transpired in between your relationship, during the relationship, after the relationship, and even now where you guys are coming back together some way, somehow, to try to rectify this situation. And some and it, 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 there's a need for courage here. I feel like this is happening during Leo season or it's happening with a Leo or someone with Leo placements. Someone that's just needing to just say what it is and what it ain't and really have an honest conversation with their spouse the mother of their children the father of their children and whether things work out or not you guys would still have to learn how to co-parent with one another for the sake of the kids so there's still a need for healing from the past and getting over the past and accepting what's happened in the past and letting bygones be bygones and you guys moving forward but that was your reading virgo